Okay, so uh, we're currently now uh, at 6,000 feet, uh, somewhere over uh, Hungary in a DF-42 twin engine. And we're going to simulate uh, doing an approach uh, following IMC conditions with one engine operative, the critical engine on the left side. And since we're at 6,000 feet, we're going to assume the runway is at 4,500 feet and the minimum is at 4,700, uh, 200 feet AGL. Uh, course pitch that we can get to get us as close as possible to to the feathering uh, feather, feathering uh, situation. And when we're gonna when we approach the minimum of 4,700 feet, which is set here on the G1000, we are going to uh, go around with one engine and operative the critical engine. Okay, so we're going to start right now. So assume that uh, the left engine is now, we're going to put it down to 20% load. Put some high throttle, trying to maintain the heading. This is the gear alarm. Speed check, flaps approach. Gear down. And we pitch down to four and a half degrees, more right rudder. With about maybe 70% uh, load and four and a half degree pitch down on, uh, with the live engine 70 percent load and four and a half degree pitch down. Try to maintain the track of the runway track or the final course and we descend. Lights on as if we're coming down. For landing. Using right rudder. I don't like Leaving altitude. I don't really like to use the, the trim now because since I'm not really having uh, like full power on the live engine, I can handle it with my uh, with my foot. But of course, it is recommended that uh, if, you, if your leg is starting to feel a little bit uh, tired, you can definitely use the, uh, the rudder trim. But be careful that when you land, you have to bring it back to neutral. All right, we're sitting nicely. About 700 feet per minute, and uh, we are currently IFR officially with an IFR flight plan with uh, actually delay about one hour at this uh, waypoint. We do exercises. We put that in the flight plan, and I have a friend of mine here who's also a flight instructor who's looking outside to make sure everything is okay. Inside. All right, we're descending nicely. The third of Lima also coming in this waypoint. Try to maintain the track. Aircraft is trimmed. And we're assuming that the final course is, uh, is set already with the OBS, trying to maintain it. Should be a nice simulation. All right, so we're approaching the minimum now. Minimum is about 4,700, about 4,800 feet. Minimum, go around. Minimum. Go around, flaps. Lift up the nose up. All right, water because of the power. Gear, positive rate, gear up. And pitch for blue line, try to maintain the heading. Now we can use definitely the rudder trim to maintain the heading. Pitch up for blue line. And the aircraft is climbing about 300 feet per minute or so. Now I'm using the rudder trim. Lights off, gear up, lights out, flaps up, power set. After takeoff checklist completed, I'll pitch up more for blue line. It's about seven and a half to almost ten degrees. The aircraft is climbing nicely with one engine simulated and operative. Altitude. Training blue line. Out of blue line, we're getting about 500 feet per minute.
which is not bad. We're maintaining track. Everything is All right, so we'll now bring the trim back to neutral. And we bring the live engine back slowly. And this way you know what to expect from the aircraft. If you're trying to go around with one engine operative, and of course the aircraft will give you a better performance, certainly if the engine, uh, the, the field engine is actually feathered. We were windmilling obviously a little bit, but the performance is not bad. Okay, so right now we are going to uh, perform uh, a stall exercise in the clean configuration. And uh, we're currently at 6,000 feet. And once the aircraft starts to buffet, uh, we're supposed to push the nose down about 5 degrees and go half uh, power, like half load, 50% load on the throttle until we reach the red line speed. And then once we reach the red line, we can continue full power as we lift the nose up. And we'll see how much uh, altitude we lose during the recovery. All right, so kindly, here we go. We're now at 6,000 feet. We're going to go idle. Try to maintain the altitude and the heading. I will right, we'll pull on the stick. Aircraft has to enter like a little bit of a buffet, and when it is uh, still not buffeting. And now we're starting to buffet, nose down, half power, half load. Leaving altitude. Full power. Now we lost about 250 feet, and we maintain the heading. Not bad. Now we're climbing up again. Do now a stall recovery yeah. exercise in the landing configuration. And uh, the way it works is we're going to put the aircraft in landing configuration, 10,000 feet, go idle, try to maintain the altitude by uh, pitching up until the aircraft actually going to hear the stall horn, and then it's going to start to buffet. Then at that point, we're going to pitch down about 5 degrees. And we go half load, or half power, 50% load on the engine. Until we get to the red line, we can go full load. And as we lift the nose up above the horizon, we can put the gear up and clean up the aircraft. Now, when you go half load, probably going to go from flaps approach right away. It's like a, almost like a go-around procedure. And as you get the red line, full power, and then you can start cleaning up the aircraft as you pitch the nose up. All right, we reduce the power now. Idle. At 6,000 feet. Speed check, flaps, approach. Gear down. And flaps landing. I try to stay 6,000 feet. Heading, pull up. Here's the horn, it has, it's not buffeting yet. Now it's buffeting, go half power, pitch down, flaps approach, and full power, lift the nose up slow. Leaving altitude. Gear up, flaps up, heading is maintained, and recovery within 200 feet, which is acceptable. Okay, so right now uh, we're going to do a VMC uh, demo. We're going to simulate the, that the critical engine, left engine, is an operative. We're going to try to maintain, uh, obviously, the heading, blue line. And then after that, we're going to keep pitching up until we get to the red line, see if we can maintain our heading with full rudder deflection. This aircraft tends to actually give you a stall warning before you get actually to the red line. 
uh, red line speed, V-minimum v control speed, but we're going to see how this works. All right, so here's our heading, and we're going to simulate now left engine loads about uh, 20%, which gives you the, max, uh, the least RPM, or maximum course pitch. And now we're going to go full power on the live engine, and pitch up the blue line, and then red line. Here we go, trying to maintain the heading. Pitch up. Pitch up more. I'm still maintaining my heading. It's no problem with the right rudder. As I'm pitching up more now, getting close to the minimum control speed, I'm completely full rudder. Aircraft is giving you a stall warning, and I cannot now maintain the heading with full water deflection. Okay, so now we're, we're gonna do a, a drag demo, try uh, to see the effects of the different configurations on the aircraft while maintaining blue speed, blue line speed, with one engine, critical engine operative, to see how the aircraft is going to be able to come to its vertical speed, whether it's able to maintain its altitude, climb, or actually descend. In that case, we're going to simulate the critical engine operator. We're going to put the load to about 20% uh, here. It gives you the maximum, uh, gives you the closest pitch you can get, which is close to, fe to feathering. Full power on the live engine. Try to maintain now the heading with the right rudder. And climb up to blue line. We're going to maintain blue line with the pitch. All right, blue line speed is coming. Altitude. All right, so now we have blue line speed, about 82 knots. First thing I'm going to do is deploy the flaps approach. I'll watch the vertical speed. All right, in order now to maintain blue line, I have to really pitch down, and I'm actually losing altitude. Gear down. Or drag to maintain blue line. I'm now descending by about 150 100 feet per minute. Hot left, Delta 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 Lima approaching uh, for the first CMA boundary, switching uh, frequency to north. Now yeah, losing altitude. And I'm finding out full flaps. Delta Lima frequency change approved. Getting blue line. And in order to maintain blue line, Information perfectly readable report and Kishkolat has an aircraft is descending now by about 400 to 500 feet. Actually, even about 500 feet per minute descending. Okay, so let's now take the gear up and see the effect. Put the gear up. Aircraft now is descending about 200 feet per minute. Flaps approach. Aircraft now is actually able to start maybe climbing. Up, climbing now. About 300 feet per minute, and when you go clean, of course. Hotel Victor Echo, Roger, do you have your file, the flight plan? Hotel Alpha Sierra Victor Echo, yes, we have a flight plan. Back to nice climbing. Uh, vertical speed. Actually, get about 500-600 feet per minute. Maintain blue line. And that is the drag demo. It shows you the effect of different configurations in the aircraft. All right, we'll bring back the trip to neutral and increase the power slowly on the left engine.